The city of Edina is preserving its cultural heritage for future generations by getting the Wooddale Avenue Bridge entered on the National Register of Historic Places. The bridge was officially listed on the register on February 2, 2016. Edina TV's Don Wills has more on why this bridge is considered to be worthy of preservation. Many people cross over Minnehaha Creek using this unassuming bridge. But according to Edina senior planner Joyce Repia, many may not know the significance it has to the city of Edina and now to the National Register of Historic Places. You know, it is unique in that it was uh, constructed in 1937 as part of the WPA, which is the Works Progress Administration. After the Depression, they were trying to provide labor for people who were unemployed. And so um, the city provided the design and the engineering and the materials, and then the federal government provided the labor. National Register historian Dennis Gardner says the federal relief program helped provide different types of jobs during the Great Depression. It put unskilled people to work. You know, these folks could, you know, the, the workers could literally bolt these things together. It didn't take a lot of skill to bolt them together. But then you'd hire the stonemason, who's the high, you know, the highly crafted person who would then put the facing of stone on it. So you're, you're putting to, to work those that are unskilled and you're putting to work those that are also skilled. Together, workers built the bridge using a combination of corrugated steel to form the arch structure. Masons then used Platteville limestone to form the head walls, railings, and wing walls. It's designed in this rustic style which fits very well in its setting because its setting is Minnehaha Creek. You know, you know don't, don't cross Minnehaha Creek with something ugly. You know, you want to cross Minnehaha Creek with something that's going to decorate the landscape, not take away from the landscape. However, Platteville limestone wasn't always in the plan. It's a fun story about this bridge. Back when we were looking at the materials in 1937, they were originally considering uh, using boulders. And at that same time, St. Stephen's Church was being constructed and they were using the Platteville limestone. And so they altered the design of the bridge to uh, include that same limestone. And what you'll find interesting is this limestone that you see on St. Stephen's Church and the Wooddale Bridge has now become synonymous with Edina. And you see it in a lot of retaining walls. In the Grandview area, you see a lot of use of that stone. And so it kind of has been known as the Edina stone. Stone that the city plans to maintain. As part of our 2016 work plan, the Heritage Preservation Board is uh, going forward with a request for, to the City Council to have it designated a local heritage landmark. And uh, that's where we provide a plan of treatment that explains and spells out how the uh, bridge should be maintained and preserved. And we work together with the City's Engineering Department because it is a city bridge. You know, we are responsible for maintaining it and preserving the modest bridge as a part of Adina's history. In Adina, Don Wells, Adina TV. Now that the Wooddale Avenue Bridge is part of the register, Gardner says there are legacy grants available to help with the costs of maintaining the bridge.